Well, an explosive day on Capitol Hill. Michael Cohen, the man who once declared he would take a bullet for President Trump, publicly turning on his former boss. The president's former attorney and confidant alleging criminal behavior by President Trump, but Republicans say Cohen is an admitted liar and cannot be trusted. Channel 2's newest anchor, Christine Noel, is joining us in studio with a look back at that hearing. Christine? Keith and Lauren, good afternoon. Michael Cohen apologized repeatedly today, saying he's a good person who was mesmerized by the president and spent 10 years protecting him. But Republicans say Cohen is just a liar and a criminal trying to save himself. Today, Michael Cohen, the president's former attorney and fixer, testifying before the House Oversight Committee that he regrets the 10 years he spent working for Donald Trump. I am ashamed because I know what Mr. Trump is. He is a racist, he is a con man, and he is a cheat. Cohen saying President Trump knew his political advisor, Roger Stone, was in contact with WikiLeaks during the 2016 campaign about the release of hacked Democratic Party emails, and the president embraced the idea. Mr. Trump responded by stating to the effect, wouldn't that be great? Cohen says he threatened people or entities at least 500 times while working for the president and that he made hush money payments during the campaign at President Trump's request, showing a copy of the president's personal check. To cover up his affair with an adult film star and to prevent damage to his campaign. And you have a history of lying over and over and over again. Republicans working to discredit Cohen, who is headed to prison in part for lying to Congress. No one should ever listen to you and give you credibility. It's sad. The president from Vietnam tweeting, Cohen did bad things unrelated to Trump. But Cohen says he lied to Congress about a scrapped Trump Tower project in Russia because the president implicitly directed him to. Mr. Trump did not directly tell me to lie to Congress. That's not how he operates. During the hearing, Cohen apologized to Congress and to his family. And this was the only day of public testimony. He's back behind closed doors tomorrow to wrap up his marathon three days on Capitol Hill. I'm Christine Noel, KPRC Channel 2 News.